Our family recently took a trip to San Francisco, California, and in this video I'm going to show you where we stayed, some pretty historic spots you must see when you go, a few fun activities we did as a family, and some pretty delicious restaurants we tried. So stay tuned for some tips for a successful trip to San Francisco, California. We are on our way to America. No. <laughs> We're going to California. <laughs> Come with us. <laughs> well, hello friends. Welcome back to our channel. And as you can see, we're in San Francisco, so let's just get right into it. We stayed at the Palace Hotel, which was an absolutely beautiful hotel. Probably the nicest one we've stayed in as a family. They left us so many goodies and they literally treated Kane like the princess that she is. We got a princess. And we got a princess in the house. Hi, princess. <laughs> a special thank you to Palace for hosting us. Some more about the hotel. It's a pretty historic hotel built in 1875. Part of the luxury collection with Marriott, we stayed in a joint suite. So the first side was ours, and the second side was my girlfriend Mandy's, and it was pretty spacious. So if you have a family, there's room for everyone. A few things I love about this hotel is it's pretty affordable. It's close to just about everything, so you can walk anywhere you need to go, or there's a train, or a bus, or some historic sites from the hotel. They also have a restaurant and bar directly in the hotel. The food was really good. We actually ate there for dinner, for breakfast, and had room, room service for breakfast. 10 out of 10, the food was good and the drinks were really good too. So don't forget, if you do decide to stay there, eat at the restaurant. Okay, this is our first full day in San Francisco. We're going to breakfast, we're going to get on the train, we're going to get on the big red bus, and go on some adventures, so come with us. Say, come with us. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Now, one thing I wish we would have done better is learn the means of transportation. Now, you can go on buses and trolleys and trains. Check out the SFMTA site for all means of transportation and download the Muni mobile app. That will help you so much and keep you from getting lost and save you money from catching Ubers like we did because we were so confused. So after walking and being lost, we found Sweet Maple, which is a delicious restaurant. It's pretty popular in town. It's so good. They have really good mimosas and waffles and uh, french toast so try it out if you decide to go now if you go to any brunch spot in san francisco go before 10 because if not you're going to be waiting in a very long line because you cannot make reservations we are at the palace of the fine arts and as you can see, it's so beautiful here. So Palace of Fine Arts is a free exhibit you can go to. It opens from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. They are closed every Monday. I would highly suggest going. Take off your shoes, run around the grass. It's beautiful there. No, we had to stop talking to them. Another? I see you, baby.
The Big Red Bus was a pretty cool means of transportation. I would download their app. They literally will take you all around San Francisco to all the historic points that you want to go to. Use the bus. We did a um, day and night tour. It was $69 for adults and $59 for Cami. It was worth it. Okay, so we are currently in Fisherman's Wharf and we're gonna get some ice cream and some food and walk around. Fisherman's Wharf may be one of the most family friendly places to go in San Francisco. It's mainly outdoors, you can go on boat rides. There's like a little farmer's market there where you can wash your fruit, and it was actually really good fruit. Um, so many different activities you can do as a family and things that little kids can do. So I would highly recommend going. Now one thing I've learned about being in San Francisco is the weather. I would highly suggest you dressing in layers. You can go down one street, it's freezing cold, the next street is hot. Bring a coat, bring long sleeve, bring short sleeve, bring all of it because the weather is so up and down there. Oh, they have sea lions there. Check out the sea lions. Now we're going to get lunch at Fog Harbor Fish House. After we were done, we were there for a few hours. We hopped back on the bus. We took like a little night tour and it took us back home, which was home meaning really close to our hotel. We were able to walk five minutes from one of the stations. The next morning was my birthday. We got room service from the hotel. It was beautiful. Today is my birthday. Me too. Cammie's birthday too. Cammy. We are now headed to the helicopter desert. ride. We're not going to the desert. Yeah, we are. We're going on a helicopter. And then we're going to the desert. <laughs> so we were a little adventurous and decided to book a helicopter ride for my birthday. It was about a 30 minute drive from the hotel pickup station. Do this, book the helicopter ride. As you can tell, the helicopter ride was amazing. It drops you off in Sausalito and then they drive you back to your hotel. Every Saturday at Palace Hotel, they have a little tea party. It starts at noon. I would highly suggest you go, even if you don't stay at the hotel. It was a beautiful experience and they have things uh, special on the menu for kids and adults, as you can see. But it was so cute and we had so much fun. The good thing about this uh, tea time is there was a large variety of sandwiches and sweets for you to try. Cammie was even serenaded with her little princess crown and as you can see she had lots of sweets. Um, just try it, especially if you've never done this before. It was a really beautiful experience for us. That night to finish celebrating we went to Water Bar which has a view of the Bay Bridge. And I didn't know at the Bay Bridge, they have like a light show at night. So try and get seating near the bridge view because you can actually see the little light show that they have. The food at this restaurant was really, really delicious. They have a really good um, halibut fish dish. Try that. We are all dressed and ready. We are headed to the Golden Gate Park. 
Thank you. You're welcome. We get lost a lot in San Francisco. <laughs> GPS is, I mean, it works, but boy. What do you think about the trip so far, Pete? Oh, it's great. Having, right? Having Other than direction? Other than directions, it's, uh, it's been good. It's been good. So, Cam, um, are you enjoying the trip? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> You did see that last night, smart girl. You're so smart. Look at the look at the shoes, Mandy. <sighs> Lots of walking. We had a little bit of a late start to our day, so you see those lines? It's because it's after 10. But if you're looking for a good breakfast spot, try Crack and Batter it. The food is so good there. But get there early. We made it to the Golden Gate Park and this place is huge, it's over a thousand miles long. It is free to the public. Now the only thing that will cost you will be different activities you do while you're there. But there's so much to do, you can go to museums, there's horseback riding, gardens, there's a conservatory of flowers, there's just so much to do, you can spend an entire day there. Okay, so we're still walking the park. It's huge. Be sure to kind of know where you want to go before you come. That way you can map out all the pinpoints because literally it can take you up to an hour or more to drive through, I mean, excuse me, to walk through the entire um, park. So know where you want to come before you come. Now one place we had on our list was the Japanese Tea Garden. This place was amazing. It's open seven days a week from 9 to 5 45 p.m check their seasonal hours adults are 13 dollars and kids five and under are free but it's five acres of land um, this place was built in 1894 it's free for residents and it's the oldest japanese garden in the united states and let me tell you it was so peaceful so beautiful it's a place i would come back to every time i visited san francisco So this may be one of the most beautiful gardens I have personally ever been to. What do you think, Pete? Yeah, it's definitely unique. So quiet. So beautiful. You can also eat there. There's a small menu of different teas and coffees that you can have. And while you're sitting, you have the beautiful view of the garden. So get something to eat, relax, and enjoy the space. Also, go early. See that line? We got there a little bit before noon. Oh, we went to this really beautiful garden. They were supposed to have tulips. There were no tulips. We were at the wrong time of year. You have to, if you want to see tulips here, you have to go in March. So, yeah, don't put that on your list unless you're going before March. <laughs> All right, we have made it to Chinatown. And it looks like we're in China. <laughs> now, Chinatown was something I was really looking forward to. This one in particular is the largest Chinatown outside of Asia, and it's the oldest in the United States. Now, there are tons of restaurants, shops. It's like you're in a different country. And we went to this really cool place that only makes fortune because they have different flavors of them, and they make it while you're there. It was so cool. It's called Golden Gate Fortune Cookie, so check that place out. We found a restaurant called the Capitol or Kappa. We're gonna order some food, a bunch of stuff, so let's see what we get. We found a place called Capital Restaurant. The food was so good. It's like shared plates, so they give you huge plates of food and you just share the food with everyone. And oh my gosh, this may be the best Chinese food I've ever had in my life. So if you're going, go to the Capital Restaurant. It's so good. <laughs> out of 10, easy. I got 2%.
Now you can take a trolley from Chinatown home. Hey, or for us, we just walked. It was a seven or eight minute walk from Chinatown to our hotel. So that's another reason why we like Palace so much. Everything is so close. We got back pretty early, so we took advantage of their indoor pool. It's heated, the water's heated, it was so nice. And of course, Kimmy had a good time. She loves going to the pool. So if you're staying at Palace, check out the pool. So this is probably Kimmy's favorite part about the hotel is the toilet. It's heated and it cleans your butt for you. And Kimmy has used it every single time we've, I've used it too. It's our final day in San Francisco, and we are headed to get breakfast at the hotel. So breakfast at the hotel is available Monday through Saturday from 6.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. and on Sundays from 7 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Now you have the option of ordering from the menu or they have the buffet option. And we kind of did both and had mimosas. Food was really, really good. Now, although you don't see many kids at this hotel, it's still very family friendly. It's fancy, but you still feel like you're at home. We just finished breakfast, and Cammie and Auntie Manny are playing a game of chess. Come on. And we are headed to some shopping. So here's the good thing about this hotel. Shopping is like five minute walk from here. There's Zara, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Macy's, everything is walkable from the hotel, so yeah. let's go. And it's a perfect day today. We checked out of our room, but we weren't ready to leave yet, so the valet came up and they held our bags for as many hours as we wanted. Mandy, what was your favorite part about the hotel? The tea time and the bidet. Yeah. <laughs> so my favorite part about the hotel was like the overall, the ambience of the place. You feel like you're at home, it's a little fancy, but it still was very comfortable and the food was really good, the drinks were really good, the tea, it was a lot of really good, it was really good, really good. Shopping is walkable, and I would call it like hide a little fashion. So they have Louis Vuitton, and they have also a Ross that's walkable from the hotel, so there's something for everyone. Hey guys, we're all wearing dinner today. Cammy, what you doing? I'm getting my dollar <laughs> There first. So we've never been in a Burberry store before and Pete has been looking at certain shirts that he's interested in buying so we're like well, let's go while we're in California and it was a really beautiful store and there were other beautiful stores that we visited too um, that's not in this video but check out the shopping district or area and this is all downtown San Francisco. I'm excited to come back though so that I can do more public transportation because it seems really cool. Now, at one of the stores we were in, they told us about this restaurant called Ipido. I'm probably saying it wrong. They have the best ramen that I have ever had in my entire life. 11 out of 10. It's so good. It is a very windy day today. Look at my hair. We are all done shopping and picking all our things up. We rented a car through Turo, and the reason why we use public transportation the entire time is because they have a lot of break-ins in San Francisco. So we're taking this car to Sausalito for our next stop. That video will be linked. So take public transportation. If you get a car, take it to the airport. Do not leave a car in San Francisco. Where we're going before we head to Sausalito is Lombard Street. It's called the most crooked street in the world. It was really, really cool. Now from Lombard Street, you have to cross over the Golden Gate Bridge to get to Sausalito, but that's my video. Like if you enjoyed it, and I hope it taught you a few things for your next trip. Thank you so much. Yeah.